Today for Mousetrap Monday, we're gonna catch some rats. I have four snap traps here inside my new trapping system. Rats can be really tricky to catch, but if you build one of these, it's much easier. Now the idea for this trap came after a recent video I posted called the Magical Mouse Box. There I showed you a mouse trap box that worked really well. We caught four mice in one night, but there was quite a few YouTube viewers that commented there was a rat that wanted to go inside, but it was too big, so I should make a larger box. And that's what we did here. We have a box that's larger and has a lid that closes. The gap is much larger as well. And I placed a gap on the same side. That way it looks more like a tunnel. A rat can travel down the wall. That's their natural instinct and go inside. Then they're drawn to the bait and the snap traps. Now these snap traps can be kind of tricky. In fact, according to Victor's own research, only 65% of the time that they're triggered, they actually kill a rat. And that's because when you set this trap out in the open, the rat can approach from any direction, including the backer sides, and they might trigger the trap without receiving the full impact of this kill bar, but not with this system. I included dividers here, and with the back and the lid, the only way to approach and hit the trigger is from the front, and that way their head and neck are perfectly lined up to receive the full impact, resulting in a very quick, humane kill. I also secured these with a screw so they won't move around, and you can catch multiple rats. I really like this system. With the lid, you can close it off and keep it away from kids, pets, and wild animals like skunks. It's perfect for rats. The larger opening, when you place this along a wall, they'll enter, feel secure, they'll smell the bait, go in the back. Now, I really like to use these expanded plastic triggers instead of the metal triggers, because they're so wide, when the rat steps on it, they're gonna get it. I don't always place the bait right here on the trigger, but instead in the back. And my favorite is sunflower seeds. So to deal with these rats, I'm gonna set all four traps, place sunflower seeds in the back behind the traps, and some in front, those are a free meal. The rats will enter, eat these, try to get the sunflower seeds in the back. When they do, they'll step on the triggers and get caught. Hopefully we can catch four, or at least as many as we can. It's a really great system. I posted videos on similar systems that had an open front, and we caught a ton of rats. But I think this is even better with the lid and the front here making it a dark tunnel. It's much more secure, but we're gonna test it out. So let's go set up the motion cameras in the barn and see how many rats we can catch with this improved rat trapping system. Well, those are some great results. Last night, it didn't take long for a very large brown rat to show up in the barn. Usually there's a lot more, but I only saw one on trail camera and it felt safe going inside this box. It's dark, it's secure, it smelled the bait, it turned the corner and its neck was perfectly lined up with the kill bar when it stepped on that trigger. That trigger is so sensitive. We also got a mouse. The mouse went in there and the same results. It's kind of overkill for a mouse, but it will catch both rats and mice. I believe this system with the box and the dividers and the traps secured takes that 65% kill rate when the traps are snapped up to over 90%, closer to 100. This is a great trapping system. Also, it's much safer. It keeps the traps from being out in the open and you don't have to worry about pets and kids. You can even put a lock on it. You can also set your trash cans on top of this. That could draw the rats in. This is very easy to build with some plywood and two by sixes. And if you wanna catch more rats, I recommend you build this trap box. Now I don't want the rat and mouse we caught to go to waste, so we're gonna feed it to wild animals. Let's go set up the motion cameras at the beaver dam and see what wild animals come along and enjoy a mouse and much larger rat snack. <laughs> 